Hey fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo, welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you for being here fire signs. Um, this is also to the cross watchers who are dealing with the fire sign as well. Um, but we are going to be looking at your person and why they have pulled away, why they've distanced, um, what's going on on their end, anything we can learn about them using the Shadowscapes Tarot. So I really appreciate you being here with me for liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to sign up to membership on the channel if you want access access to extended readings that is going to be available for members only so um, feel free to check that out um, and sign up for that it's a monthly fee otherwise uh, let's jump into this reading and see let's suss it out fire signs what's going on Aries Sag Leo why is this person distanced ghosted whatever's happening here around them okay page of wands has come up Possibly some immaturity coming up on their end, some things that they felt like they needed to do or see. I get a non-committal kind of energy with the Page of Wands um, straight away from them. Okay, they did feel emotion, so they're still emotionally attached to you. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups reversed. All right, this person doesn't want to leave entirely. So they're still emotionally drawn or attached to you in a very powerful way here. But what I'm getting... I've got a couple of pages here next to this person. I've got the Empress, the Moon. Okay. The Empress is this like attractive energy. It's it's a it's a freedom kind of energy. So especially in this deck, um, the vibe I'm picking up from this fire signs is that this person at this present time wants to sort of flirt around, be single, and not really be attached. I think they've got their guard up. But look, there is, like you can see, she's got these masks. So I wonder if this person, there's someone who's leading a double life or they've got someone from their past. I'm getting there's an ex coming up around this person. But also immaturity. Um, immaturity because they don't know who to, who to pick or which way they want to go in a relationship and they can't make up their mind. So in fact, they've distanced themselves. They've pulled away. Queen of Cups is telling me that this person loves you or you had something like long-term planned together. The sea turtles are, are beautiful creatures of longevity. So obviously this person, you guys had long-term plans or a long-term vision. Whether they told you this or not, in their mind, in their heart, that's what they wanted with you. Um, okay. But then I feel like the X has come back. The moon, the past, or a past attachment, someone that they were previously attached to, has come back up in their life. And now all of a sudden, they might be seeing the both of you here. Okay. It's likely. Um or they're engaging, they're thinking about what a life with, with you would be like with the page of wands, and then and then what else is coming up? Okay, I also feel like there's someone pulled back because you might have been selfish. Page of Wands is all about indulging in the self, and right underneath is a six of pentacles fire sign. So, okay, you have to be a little bit self-critical here and understand if you were labeled selfish, why were you labeled selfish by this person? What did you do that was only to your liking rather than theirs. There's something that you wanted in the relationship that they felt it was all about you. Um, it's all about what you wanted, your say, your pacing. And this kind of pushed them aside maybe to go back to an ex or it maybe made them to be more emotionally protective. The moon is like um, cancer's ruled by the moon. So it can be a cancer, um, but cancer is the crab, you know, it, it retreats into their shell. So I feel like they, this person has, you've, you've made them feel emotionally vulnerable in a way. Um, or it's like their ex has come back into the picture. They don't really know what to do at this stage. So they're sort of retreating away from the both of you. Okay. I'm not really seeing a card of deceit. So I wonder if it's more like, okay, they might've spoken to their ex a little bit, but they too have been cold and distant to this other person as well. So I don't think it's just you actually fire signs. I think it's. It's more than that. Um, they want to sort of watch and wait and see how things go. Look at like this, this stare that we're seeing here. So I reckon they're just sort of watching and waiting. Um, I don't feel like they're watching and waiting for anything in particular, but I feel like they want to be free right now. They're scared to get attached because I feel like emotionally they're not ready. I want to say things got like quite intense quite quickly. So especially if, Things like moved along really quick before this person was actually, you know, ready to commit and ready to give you all of this. Then I feel like they got scared because the page is telling me they weren't ready. They had the love for you. They had the attachment. Um, are they ready to leave entirely and disconnect? 
at this stage, no, I don't think they are ready to detach. I don't think they're ready to leave you. I'm not seeing an energy that they are completely done with the situation because I still feel like eventually their emotions will bring them back to you because Eight of Cups is reversed, so they're not ready to leave entirely. They, like I said, I, re I really feel like they're confused because I feel like they want to be young and they want to be free and they just want to experience that. But at the same time, it's like, okay, well, they don't, they, they can't necessarily detach from you. Believe me, they've tried, but it hasn't been possible. Now they have the six and the seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles is reversed, which is the growth card. So they've got, it tells me they've got some growing up to do, especially emotionally. So if they haven't dated in a while, maybe they're coming out of a divorce or out of a separation, they're not ready to deal with that all over again. They're not ready to offer you that right now. But it doesn't mean that it can't happen in the future. I get a strong vibe that there's unfinished business here and there's very likely for some sort of reconciliation. Very attracted and they're very attached. But like I said, they're watching and waiting. They're still probably checking up on you, I reckon, with the Page of Pentacles. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay, they're seeing what you're doing on social media. They're driving past your work. And that would so, so um, cement what I was saying, that they're still attached. Oh my God, that is like the biggest sign that they steal into you. Otherwise, why would they do that? Why would they bother check in from time to time? Why would they bother go to places where they know you'll be? Like, obviously there's something here, but I feel like they need to figure out some hidden emotions, all right? The moon is telling me that. If it's not an X around them and you know that for sure, then I reckon the moon is telling me that they've got some subconscious feelings they need to work through before they can come back to you. Because like I said, retreating emotionally um, so they're probably acting cold and distant, not letting you know how they really feel. Again, it's so they don't have to put down their walls and be vulnerable with you. So they're not really giving you an explanation. They're not being completely honest. And it's a, it's a, it's a bit to prevent hurting you. Okay. Essentially they still are hurting you. So, I mean, I don't know how successful that is, um, on their part, but at the end of the day, I feel like there is something here that they feel, they feel responsible in a way. They feel responsible for causing you pain and it's not suiting well with them. But I feel like cancer energy is very nostalgic and cancer energy misses its attachments. So I'm getting that this person is missing you, even as you are distancing away. Um, they're probably missing you more and more and those subconscious thoughts and feelings will start to bottle up until it's going to culminate in a reach out or a meet up or a reconciliation, I think. So you've got something to look forward to here. Um, but I will leave it there. So thank you again, uh, Fire Signs, for watching um, and to the Cross Watchers for tuning in as well. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification button for updates. Um, otherwise, lots of love and bye.